What's up guys, Lovegun here and today I'm coming to you with a Heroic Challenger OTK deck profile. Uh, this is a very good deck I, in my opinion uh, from the new uh, Return of the Duelist uh, booster packs. Uh, not one of the best decks, like I've been testing it against my hero deck and my hero deck prevails I'd say like 75% of the time. But it all depends on the OTK part of this deck, so uh, just to start we're in a pink deck box and some nice pink sleeves here. So we're gonna get straight to it. So uh, I, I, it's not completely. I need to do some like minor tweaks to it. So we have two Heroic Challenger uh, Excaliburs, Heroic Champion Excaliburs. Sorry, I am looking for uh, well two more actually. I would like two more Ghosts. Uh, so if you got any of those, PM me. Uh, this is the OTK of the deck. Uh, but I'll explain a lot about about, uh, about that later. So I'll just pull that to the side. Uh, sorry about that. Uh, and the last bit of Art Exceed, uh, you can put more in it, like a Utopia, or a, I don't know, a Gem Knight Pearl, or an Adrius, but mine is just a Sawbreaker. You know, pretty good. If there's an annoying monster on the field, you can just take care of it. Uh, if you didn't know, its effect is, say if there's a Dark Magician on the field, and he's got like 5,000 attack, I don't know. <laughs> but if you, you call out an attribute, and if I say Dark, then this which is earth tends to dark and it uh, can whatever monster it attacks if it is a dark if it's the same attribute it's destroyed it's instantly it's a really good card okay so on to the main deck so we have three heroic challenger double lances this guy is pretty good uh, if you spend if you summon him to the field and if you have another double lance in your hand or graveyard you can special summon him to the field and obviously, if you have two, you can then exceed someone for a Excalibur. So that's pretty cool. The next cards are uh, Horror Challenger Spartans. Pretty good in like uh, if you need some like def you know if you need some high uh, attack monsters out in the field. Basically, if this card is going to get attacked at, uh, say if I have a Sawbreaker on the field, it takes Sawbreaker's attack and adds it to Spartans. So you know. It's pretty cool. We'll just move the board there. It's a pretty good card. One, three of these. Uh, next, we have three Heroic Challenger Sword Shields. If you tribute one of these to the graveyard, uh, Heroic Monsters cannot be destroyed by battle. And obviously, the, the, most of the part of the deck they are, uh, is uh, Heroic Challengers and Heroic Champions. And also, you take no battle damage. So, that's pretty cool. Next, we have. Uh, one, two, three, Heroic Challenger Warhammers. I was debating whether I should do a uh, two or three, but what I'm doing is two because then you can exceed some for the Sawbreaker, and one is just for fun. Basically, um, Heroic Challenger Warhammer. If it destroys a monster, you can equip it to this card, and it gains its attack. So let's say it was two thousand. You know, it's, then this is now four thousand one hundred. Say if they've got a Cyber End Dragon on the field, you know, get that 4,000 and the attack is now at, you know, 6,100, it's crazy. This guy is very good. Uh, that's all the heroic monsters. Uh, now we've run in three Goblin Bergs, pretty cool card. It's uh, when this card is normal summoned, you can special summon one level 4 or lower monster from your hand, and then this goes into defense position. Pretty much again to exceed summon. It's pretty cool. And then uh, this is just the little things I put in the deck. So uh, one deep diver. So you know you draw him on first turn, set him defense, you know, destroy it. You can put any card you want on top of your deck. It's pretty cool. Uh, one sand gun. You know, I don't really need to explain it. Well, if you don't know the effects, get better at the game. <laughs> I'm joking, guys. But yeah, if it's destroyed by a bottle, uh, you can get a monster out of your deck for 1500 attack or less and add it to your hand. Next we've got a Marauding Captain. Uh, when you summon this, your opponent can't uh, target any face-up uh, warrior monsters, and uh, except for this one. So, that's pretty cool. And there you can special summon one a level 4 or lower monster from your hand. So again, trying to get out some level 4s to, ex uh, to exceed someone. And our last monster is Freed the Mashless General. Pretty cool. It's, uh, you can negate any 
effect of spell cards uh, when it's targeted at this card. And instead of doing your draw, for it, draw phase, you can select one card in your deck and add it to your hand. So, pretty cool. So that's it for our uh, monsters. Now we're going to go on to spells. Uh, I don't think there's really many, but... So we have three heroic chants. This is the OTK about the part about the deck. You will need three heroic chances. So what you do is, you'll get out... Let me just put these down. So you'll get out two double lances, okay? So then, you know, so then you exceed summon Heroic Champion Excalibur. Now, this is where the OTK comes in. You remove the exceed materials, okay? So now this is at 4,000. You play Heroic Chance, and the effect of this card is to double any Heroic Monster's attack. Now, if it's at 4,000 and you've doubled it, this is 8,000. This is an 8,000 beat stick. It's not even a beat stick. It's an 8,000 nuke. It will just destroy your opponent. The only thing is you cannot attack directly. But let's say you wipe out all traps and it's a weak monster. Attack them and they've pretty much only got like a 1,000 life points left. So, if you're thinking about doing this deck, you will need three of these. Definitely. It's, n it's not a, you know, oh, I'll just run two or one. No, you will need it because this is the OTK part of the deck. So, that's the key part of the uh, deck. Then we run uh, three MSTs. I don't really need to explain this, but if you don't know, it's, uh, you know, select one spell or trap card, destroy it. You really need to uh, do some research if you don't know what that means, uh, what that card does. Two, with warrior retaining the live. Select one warrior monster in your graveyard and bring it back. Uh, you can roll this or monster reborn. And reinforcements of the army. Add one level four look warrior type from your deck to your hand. So that's it for spells. Now uh, there is quite a lot of traps because obviously if you're not pulling right, you'll need to set a lot down. So we have three heroic retribution swords. This is pretty much if you if a heroic monster is going to be attacked, play this. Well, you know, flip it, flip, flip, uh, activate it, and say if I get uh, eighteen hundred life points of damage. So your opponent. So it's, you know, it's just bringing your opponent down so you can get Excalibur out and OTK them. It's really good. Okay, uh, three Secretsu Armors. You can have this or like a Mirror Force or, I don't know, Magic Cylinders will work. But basically, uh, if your opponent attacks one of your monsters, or even if, you, even if it attacks, destroy the monster. This is pretty cool. One Regeki Break, discard a card to destroy a card. Call the Haunted, I run this instead of a Reborn. Uh, impenetrable Attack, I thought I'd just add this in because it's the Return of the Duelist. So you, you uh, I don't know if you see that, there's a bit of glare. So during the battle phase, flays, sorry. <laughs> during the battle phase, activate one of these effects, so you target one monster on the field. It cannot be destroyed by battle or by card effects, or you take no battle damage. Very cool. Does Tornado. Pretty cool. You know, destroy a spell or trap your opponent controls and then you can set a spell or trap. A trap hole. Don't need to explain it. And on the last trap is a Torrential Tribute. You know, this is just... If you're really drawing rubbish, say I've drawn five spell cards and a Goblin Bag. Set the Goblin Bag. Set this down. They summon. Boom. Done. All monsters are gone. And you can draw some new cards. So, guys, that is the my uh, Hero Cham Challenger OTK deck. Uh, please like if you enjoyed the video and uh, leave any feedback in the comment section down below or send me a personal message. Remember, I do need two more Excaliburs, preferably gold. Uh, gold, sorry, Ghost Rares. Uh, so that means I will be. Because uh, this is a secret from Tin, I don't really want it. So I need two more Hero Champion Excalibur Ghosts. So yeah, that is it guys, so please, uh, if you, and this is actually a cheap deck to make, there is not many, like, holo cards you need, I, unlike my, here yeah, prophecy deck I've got here, which is very expensive to make, like, if you want three high priestess, that's already like 90 quid gone, <laughs> well, nearly 100 actually, so, but you know, it's, it's actually not that much to make, so, yeah, so, 
Please like if you enjoyed the video and subscribe for more videos like this. If you want to leave any feedback, comment section down below or send me a personal message. I will reply to you as soon as I can. I am Lovegun and I'll see you guys next time.